Welcome to another game of Catan. Today we're in fourth position on a very interesting board. So all of the ore is on the top of the board, the 2-6. So we know the 6-3 is going to get taken. Um, maybe even by us. So what pairs well with that? Well, first of all, in first position, you probably take either the 5-10-9 going off to the sheep. 11.65, I understand it, just to get on the ore. Probably going to need to go for a port for a second second placement. But in second position, probably the 5.10.9 going towards the sheep. 10.83, doubling up on the 10 for the wood port. Maybe even the 8.34. Yeah, but I think that's a solid second um, placement. So what do we end up getting left with? I'm sure also the 4... 810 or the 348 gets taken. But we most likely want to get on this 6. Or at least the 11. I honestly wouldn't mind. Mm, but then we're on no brick. I was going to say I wouldn't mind the 9311 and the 1083 going towards the wood port, but I don't like being on zero brick. And it's just not a lot. But the thing that worries me about the 6 is that I'm sure it gets blocked quite a bit here. I also like the 4, 5, 10 going to the 3 to 1. So maybe we do the 3, 4, 8, 4, 5, 10 going to the 3 to 1 and we just try to port everything. That could be the move here. We could also do 4, 5, 10 going to the 3 to 1, and then taking the 6-3 brick port. That's not horrible here. Okay, but the 4-10-8 gets taken. Um, so that that's, makes it a little bit more difficult for us. So we could take the 3-4-6 with the 6-3. That gives us ore, wheat, and sheep. And our 3s are coordinated. We also have the brick port there as well. But it's a little scary. Does anyone take the 8-4 here? Maybe black takes the 8-4. Yeah, maybe black takes the 8-4. We could race red down to the 4 or the 6-11-12. That's an option. We can also take the 5, 9, 10. But the 5, 9, 10 doesn't pair well with anything is the problem. I mean, it's high production. You, you have the 3 to 1 port, but it just doesn't pair very well. So I'm very hesitant to take that spot. I do like the idea, though, of the 6, 3. Three, four, six. It's just not a ton of production. And do we assume someone taking the eight four? Well, maybe not, because someone takes the five nine ten. Someone takes the three nine eleven. And someone probably takes the six two, right? And we also have the coordinated sixes here, which I like quite a bit. The question is, do we race to the three to one port or do we race red to the six, 11, 12? That's the question. Red could take the six two as well here. Because then, then he probably beats me to or we cheap because he's doubled up on the sixes. He's got a little bit extra ore and a stronger sheep. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad for him here. I could have pointed my, my road down and to the right here, but I think wherever I point my road, Orange is going to try to get to that spot before me. So... 
I don't think it really mattered that much, but just in case no one takes the 2-6, we'll have an extra spot there. That was the rationale behind that. I'm really considering the 3-4-6, but we're really relying on the 3s, the 6s. And then do we even need the 3-1 to one port here? I think we go down because we can always double up on the sheep, and we can maybe double up and get another wheat spot. So I think we are going to do that. We're leaving some solid places open though. The 10, 8, 3, 9, 5, 10. So I think black's going to be in a pretty good spot here. Tough. Tough uh, to be in third position on this board, or fourth position. At least we have the coordinated sixes, though. That can be really, really good for us. But if the threes don't hit, our game is pretty much done. Because they're not going to be expanded. We're not going to be able to expand quick enough. I'm curious to see, though, if the 3-9-11 is going to be open here. Because the 10-8-3 is going to get taken. The 9, 5, 10, probably going to get taken. And then someone might want to consider orange especially, or sorry, red especially, consider the 2, 6. So I have a feeling one of these spots are going to be open, either the 9, 3, 11, 10, 8, 3, 9, 5, 10. <clears throat> okay, but orange takes the 5, 12, 9. Trying to beat us to this 6, 11, 12 here. Okay, so this makes me think red's either going to do the 2-6 on the 3-1. to one. Yeah, black has a really good setup here. He's definitely got road. No question. Yeah, so he gets the 2-6. I think that makes sense. And then he'll probably double up on the sheep, which puts us in a pretty tough spot here. Puts us in a pretty tough spot. We'll need some threes to hit to do anything. And then maybe fight for the early devs, but... If we just had two threes hit, we would cut black off to this three to one. I think that would help our game quite a bit. Very bold trade question. Trade proposal. I think it's never a good idea to ask for two cards for one just right off the bat like that. I mean, unless, like, people really need it, but. So no threes yet. I think we're going to be blocking black here. Probably quite a bit this game. Black and red. Unfortunately, the six is going to get robbed quite a bit, I'm sure. And uh, orange has a chance too. I mean, it's going to be me and red fighting for army and orange and black fighting for road. So it'll be an interesting game. I think we have to go for the dev card here. We need to make something happen. Now, if Black is smart, he's going to put that road down to the 8-4 before placing the settlement. Just to protect that 3-1. to one. But no 3s have hit, which is pretty much the make or break for us this game. And Red already with an early city. And Black with the settlement. Does he have the...
Definitely not. Black getting a death card. Interesting. He probably knows he's getting blocked quite a bit here. Still no three, though. I want to hold. I think I'm going to hold here. There's nothing much we can do. But Red hitting those 11s early. Yeah, he's already got two dev cards. It's going to be a tough road to, to beat him to army. But Black going for army too, it looks like, which is interesting. Maybe we can steal enough resources to get ourselves to the 3911. And then maybe if we can also get to the 3 4, we can make something happen. But that's a pretty, uh, pretty big ask. Orange needs to get to a port pretty quickly here because otherwise he's not going to be able to do anything with his resources. We're gonna have to steal from Black because he might have the resources we need. I think we're gonna hold here. We need the city. Okay, we do hit a three. And then an eight. Maybe we see another three here. Four. We could get over to this three, four, which would help us. Because I'm not sure if it's a great idea to try to race for this three, nine, eleven. We definitely need to get a dev card. That doesn't help us. So unfortunately, I think the safer bet here is to go for the 3-4, and then maybe we'll swing around to the 9-11 if we have enough resources for it. But this is solid, and then we can see if the brick hits will steal from black again. Okay, so we know black has brick. Hopefully we see some sevens here. Okay, black has a lot of brick. Oh no. Okay. He's not racing us. He's going for the wheat port. Okay, gonna have to rob him. We do get the brick, which is good. Oh, I'm hesitant to, I mean, we have to go for army, but we also might just have to build to it because red's already stockpiling up. Okay, orange needs to block the six here. Either the wheat or the ore. Makes sense. Pretty obvious he needs to steal from red here, but let's see what he does. OK, 
Okay, I think we're gonna hold for the city. So if our three hits, we'll at least get two roads, and then maybe get to that three nine eleven. But our whole game pretty much hinges on those threes. So in red's position, you gotta rob black, yeah, for sure. I would probably rob the the wheat though. Yeah, pretty sure red's gonna have army locked. Already has five death cards. And maybe five VPs. Should probably put it back on the six. Oh, but he does the six wheat. Yeah, that's solid. I don't really want to settle for a death card here, especially because red has it on lock. We definitely need the production to increase. So we're going to have to hold. Surprising block on the four. I think in this position, definitely black's your biggest threat. But his two is going off. It's hit more than our three has. Okay, that's a good cutoff by black. That was another reason why uh, <laughs> why red should have blocked black here. I think me and orange are in a pretty tough spot. At least red's keeping that six unblocked for us. Can't be giving away the wheat for free. Yeah, black's in a pretty good spot here as well. Definitely put it on the six. Yep, steal from red. But red probably or orange is probably going to get to this four eleven. Honestly, that helps him a little bit more than this three eight does. Oh, unless he's going to the three to one, that also makes sense. And then maybe he's gonna connect his road and, and uh, fight black. That two has just been hitting. I'm tempted to just play the early mono, but just because we know we're gonna get the ore. God, it's tempting, I'm not gonna lie. We kinda need it at this point as well. We need a we need a city. That six is gonna keep getting blocked too, so 
but I still think that's the better city, is the 6-3. Which sounds crazy, but... No, I, I don't, it doesn't hurt our opponents enough. Plus, maybe if we play our cards right, if a 12 hits, a 5 hits, we can steal some brick and, and do a little bit more damage with it. Because it would be good to have a city, but I don't think it's worth just robbing two ore from red and uh, orange, or red and black. We do finally hit a three here. I have a feeling that road that red has a road building and he goes to the three nine eleven. That would make a lot of sense. That's obviously gonna be our next goal. Because the problem now for black is that he has to city up um, something before he can go to the three nine eleven. So it gives us some time. But we do have a city now. <laughs> Okay, I did not expect to get that trade. Oh, the question is, does red have enough to cut us off to this 3-11? I really don't want to waste the road. I really don't want to waste the road here, so I think I'm going to sit on 6, which is risky, but I have a feeling that red's going to be able to get over to our 3-9-11 uh, our here. Or they're just going to keep buying dev cards. They might be buying the whole deck, honestly. He's got a second city. He might not even need to. If we can get one more three to hit, that would be huge. Come on, one more three. A nine. We really need this brick here. Red has to have a road building or something. Okay, that helps. A knight, that's not super helpful.
We can four for one though for the sheep. So I think we might have to do that here. We don't love it, but at least it gets us over to the three nine eleven because I think red is a road building. So we're gonna do that. I know it looks ugly, but and then we can use our year of plenty next time to get the other two resources to get on the three eleven nine. I have a feeling this is gonna end probably pretty quickly, but. I just didn't want red to get a settlement placement on that 3911. That too, that too has been huge. So I think, yeah, Red probably got four VPs there with only two cities. Pretty insane. Wow, the two hit four times. Well, tough game, but... It happens. I think we got kind of stuck on our last placements and that, that uh, six kept getting blocked. And yeah, we just had no one, I couldn't compete with Army for with Red. He just had too much initiative. And that two was just hitting so much for him. But anyways, good game nonetheless. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.